the ice outside, they're forcing more people to exercise indoors this week. So here with some advice is Dr. Miho Tanaka, director of the Women's Sports Medicine Program at Mass General. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, a national review of insurance claims finds that exercise equipment sends more Americans to the ER than any other sport or activity. It's kind of surprising. So what can you tell us about the type of injuries that you have seen? Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people think that indoor equipment um, is relatively safe. You know, it's inside, it's in a controlled environment, um, but we still do see injuries related to this. Um, I would say that the majority of these in my practice that I see are related to either a tendonitis or some sort of muscle strain. Um, and a lot of this is related to overuse. And the way that this happens is that, you know, someone isn't able to exercise outdoors. So they decide, OK, I'm going to go really hard on the elliptical or on the bike for, uh, you know, an hour. Um, and uh, unfortunately, any change in activity requires some time for your body to adjust to that. And uh, if you go too hard too fast, you're putting yourself at risk for injury. Okay. Well, you are, you know, the director of women's sports medicine, so obviously treat a lot of female patients. Are there some injuries you see more often in women than men? Absolutely. So one of the biggest concerns that we have for our female athletes is an ACL injury. Um, so an ACL tear, um, or that's an injury to the ligament, uh, to the knee that uh, um, supports the knee during cutting and pivoting activities. And what we know is that women are actually eight times more likely than male athletes to have this type of injury. Um, luckily, there are studies that show now that um, you can perform preventative training exercises um, that will reduce your risk of injury uh, because because a lot of these injury uh, risks are due to differences in neuromuscular control. And so injury preventative training uh, has become a big component of our education for our female athletes. Let's talk about ankle sprains. Is there anything women can do to lower their risk of those? Absolutely. So just like uh, in ACL injuries, uh, ankle injuries um, are common in women. And one of the reasons for that um, is uh, a difference in how we um, are able to control the muscles around the ankle. So strengthening exercises, balance exercises um, are actually effective in terms of reducing your risk of injury. You've probably seen them. There's single leg exercises or sometimes people do exercises on the wobble board. They tend to be more effective uh, when they're under supervision. So I always recommend uh, that someone, you know, see a physical therapist or work with a trainer um, to get themselves on the right track. Okay, Dr. Tanaka from Mass General, thanks so much for all that advice. Thank you.